So now we're turning to some aspects of ironmongery. And this object here um, is, a, is a bell crank. Um, it's a bit hard to explain this, but when you ring the doorbell um, of a 19th century house, it's a physical pull of the bell, and it pulls a wire, and the wire has to go up next to the door, up to the roof, up to the ceiling level, and across, and then down to wherever the bell is going to ring. So it changes direction three or four times. Each time it changes direction, it passes through over one of these. The wire is fixed to either end of this, and it rotates. So a pull, say, downward, will be translated into a pull uh, horizontally uh, above it. And it can go, as I say, through three or four of those before it reaches the actual bell. That's from a doorbell. But when you have servants' bells throughout the house, um, you have to uh, have a number of these bells. They have to ring uh, different sounds so the servant can tell which room they're, they're from. So you have a bell board at the back and a whole row of bells. Uh, and um, the noise tells you what's, um, which room it is. And sometimes the continued vibration of the bell also. So if the servant gets there too late and forgets, they can look at the bell board and see one bell still, uh, still vibrating. This next item I have here is a, a vent. Now, typically in a 19th century room, you have uh, a gas light, and the gas produces a lot of water vapor and indeed combustion products. So you get around the ceiling a stain of where the water vapor is condensed with the uh, soot and so on to leave a mark. So you tend to have a vent over a gas fitting. Um, and this is what this is for. This would be in the ceiling. Uh, and there'd be a, a, an open vent through the plasterwork or the ceiling rows below, so the air could get into here. When it gets into the ceiling space or the roof space, if there's any draft, there's a risk of the air blowing back down and the vent not working. So what this one has here is a tube across the top, inside which is a little pivoting V shape. If the wind in the roof space is going, say, into here, it will close the V on one side and open on the other, and the air is sucked out. The pissot tube effect means that Passing air will suck the air out here. So whichever way the wind is blowing in the roof, either way, it will still be sucking the air out from the room below. This was a patent by a local man who made originally plaster ceiling roses, Murphy of Sandridge or Port Melbourne, and his brand is on the top of this, this vent. Much more familiar to us is typical ornamental cast iron used in balconies and freezers. Um, and often uh, this can be identified by markings on the back, it will have a, often a brand or a registration mark. This one hasn't, hasn't got that. And sometimes the technique of casting, which over time becomes uh, lighter and often more uh, hollow-backed, uh, will tell you the, the date of this item.